radial bands sign is seen in which neurocutaneous syndrome so here we see that these are the radial bands which are going from the ventricle to the cortex the hyper intense lines these are seen in tuberous sclerosis so tuberous sclerosis as the name says it forms tubers that is hematomas why are these formed because the tumor suppressor genes are mutated so when the tumor suppression is gone there are tumors which form there are tubers or hematomas which form so these radial bands are dysplastic glial fibers that give hyperintense signal we may also see cortical tubers in tuberous sclerosis so this is a cortical tuber there which on mri looks like a hyperintense on flare area so that is a hematoma again so tuberous sclerosis to the highlights it is autosomal dominant it has a mutation in tumor suppressor genes as i mentioned that is tsc1 tuberous sclerosis complex 1 and 2 one forms a protein hematin two forms a protein tuberin the one gene is located on chromosome 9 TSC2 is located on chromosome 16. So remember 3 square 9 and 4 square 16. This is tuberous sclerosis. Then we see Vox triad in tuberous sclerosis, a frequently asked question. So Vox triad, or it is also called as epiloia, the other term for tuberous sclerosis. So epiloia stands for epilepsy. L O I stands for low IQ, and A is adenoma sebaceum. So the triad is epilepsy. low iq and adenoma sebaceum so the images that are very very important remember the three a's adenoma sebaceum so adenoma sebaceum is a facial angiofibroma so tuberous sclerosis forms tumors hematomas everywhere angiofibroma on the face adenoma sebaceum classical location it is like this along the bridge of the nose and on either side so adenoma sebaceum second a is ash leaf macule so this is a hypopigmented macule which is like a shape of ash leaf so it is pointed at one end and rounded at the other most common site is on the trunk third a is angiomyolipoma very important so it forms hematoma so everywhere the tissue proliferates in the kidney you have angiomyolipoma that is blood vessels muscles and fat proliferating so since it contains fat it will have a negative hu value that is it will be hypodense on ct so this is a kidney showing a fat containing lesion angiomyolipoma these are fat containing lesions here angiomyolipoma in contrast on ultrasound we have this hyperechoic lesion hyperechoic because fat is hyperechoic on ultrasound the 3s are chagrin patch so chagrin patch s for s it's in the sacral region it's an orange peel shaped lesion on the skin so a chagrin patch subependymal nodules hallmark of tuberous sclerosis subependymal so along the ependyma the ventricle line we see this calcified nodules calcification comes with age if one of this nodule enlarges it forms subependymal giant cell astrocytoma that is sega the classical site most common site is at the foramen of monro so the lateral ventricles that's the third ventricle this is the foramen of monro so an enhancing lesion at the foramen of monro in tuberous sclerosis is subependymal giant cell astrocytoma so the three s are chagrin patch subependymal nodules and sega then it forms periangular fibroma or a conen tumor so everywhere tumor formation so periangular that is around the nail or subangular fibroma that is conen tumor in the heart there is proliferation of the muscle so rhabdomyoma in the lungs there is proliferation of lymphatics and muscles so lymphangioleomyomatosis so remember tuberous sclerosis causes proliferation of cells everywhere that is hematomas are formed everywhere